Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Remembrance Day of Arden Shelefian. Interview with Artsakh hero, Major General of the Republic of Armenia Armed Forces Arkady Derta Devosian. The human rights defender states at least 1815 hectares of forest in Artsakh were set on fire by Azerbaijan. Artsakh repels Azerbaijani advance attempt from south. In October 2020, Turkey sold more than $100 million worth of military aircraft to Azerbaijan. The 2000 year old tree growing in Ardavin is the oldest pear tree. Proceeds from the sale of picture of the first Artsakh war will be donated for the needs of the third war. The Presidential Council of Western Armenia, the National Council, the Government and the Parliament of Western Armenia are deeply saddened by the first Remembrance Day of Mr. Arden Shelefian. Shelefian, whose roots are from Mush, was born on September 25, 1951 and grew up in Constantinople. He graduated from the University of Lausanne, Switzerland. He had a doctorate in economics and with his knowledge helped various financial and manufacturing companies around the world. For more than 12 years, he was the chief advisor of the Frank Miller, a member of the board of of directors and chairman of Artsakh Bank. Shalafian was a member of the Presidential Council of the Republic of Western Armenia, the founder of the state television of Western Armenia. He devoted his whole life in restoring the rights of the Armenian people and defending the sovereignty and rights of the state of Western Armenia. Arden Shalafian, an economist, intellectual, historian, human rights activist, statesman, ardent defender and just a man from Western Armenia, suddenly left us. At the time, he was still working on organizing the centenary of the Treaty of Saras. The Presidential Council of Western Armenia, the National Council, the Government and the Parliament of Western Armenia jointly express their condolences to Mr. Arden Shalafian's wife, children, his entire family and friends. Rest in peace, Armena Kabramian, President of the Republic of Western Armenia. Western Armenia TV had a conversation with Argadi Derta Devosian, a hero of Artsakh, commander of the operation to liberate Chushi. During the conversation, he referred to the current war situation, drawing parallels between the current situation in Artsakh and the hostilities in the 1990s. He outlined the importance of Armenians living abroad and Western Armenia to participate in the war. According to the preliminary information of the Artsakh Human Rights Defender, at least 1815 hectares of forested area of Artsakh was set on fire by Azerbaijan. This is particularly stated in the message spread by the staff of the Artsakh Human Rights Defender. In parallel with targeting of civilian communities, the Azerbaijani armed forces, especially in recent years, have been deliberately burning the forested areas of Artsakh. According to preliminary data of the Human Rights Defender of Artsakh, they mainly use banned white phosphorus weapons. Within the framework of the investigation of the the Artsakh Human Rights Ombudsman, it was revealed that the deliberate burning of forests of Artsakh by the Azerbaijani side is widespread and covers all regions. According to preliminary data, fires continue in various areas. The Artsakh Defense Army troops engaged in defensive battles overnight November 2 to 3 in the eastern, southeastern, and southern directions of the front line as Azerbaijan forces continued attacking. The Defense Army reports that it destroyed Azeri automobile equipment, personnel, and one tank with precision strikes. In a small section of the front line in the eastern direction, the Defense Army forces pulled back for tactical reasons and positioned themselves in more favorable lines for further combat actions. In the morning, the Defense Army delivered the precision fire strikes upon adversary equipment and personnel who were trying to advance in the southern direction, infliciting losses and forcing them back to the starting positions. The army units also suppressed enemy attacks in the northern direction. At this moment, the enemy continues attempts to shift the tactical advantage to each side. Turkey has sharply increased its exports of defense and air products to Azerbaijan. Over the past month, Azerbaijan has imported more than $100 million worth of defense aviation products. This was reported by Armen Press, citing data on October exports on the official website of the Turkish Exporters Council. The list of military products purchased from Turkey includes Turkish made by Raktar UAVs, which were widely used during the aggression unleashed by Azerbaijan against Artsakh. The 2,000-year-old pear tree growing in the village of Ardavin Yonjari in Western Armenia may be the world's oldest pear tree. The height of the tree is 6.5 meters. It is known that there is a 410-year-old pear tree in the United States and 610-year-old in Romania. This tree looks like the oldest pear tree in the world which is still giving fruit. It is necessary to register the tree as a memorial tree and to take it under protection. 
Proceeds from the sale of pictures of the first Artsakh war will be donated for the needs of the third world. The exhibition is the initiative of the Republic of Armenia Ministry of Education and Science. The goal is to support the soldiers through culture. The method of support is simple. All the proceeds from the sale of tickets, posters and postcards for the exhibition will be transferred to the Hayastan All Armenian Fund. Especially today, it is important that the cultural life does not stop, so that people can fill their daily lives with art, of course, realizing that today is a very difficult situation. Situation. But at the same time, art is the way to overcome even the most severe pain, says the author of the initiative. Now let us represent your attention a song so say Gancha. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.